Hello. In this video, we'll be discussing hemiacetals and acetyls. Hemiacetals are compounds that are derived from aldehydes or ketones and an alcohol. They contain both OR and OH groups that are bonded to the same carbon. To the right is the general form of a hemiacetyl. Hemiacetyls are formed when an aldehyde or ketone reacts with an alcohol, as shown below. This example is specifically with an aldehyde. This image here represents the basic form of a carbonyl compound, an aldehyde or a ketone. This would be an aldehyde if this right here was a hydrogen or a ketone if it was an R group. This over here represents an alcohol. When this aldehyde or ketone reacts with an alcohol, it forms a hemiacetal. Let me show you how. The OR group from the alcohol forms a bond with a carbonyl carbon. The H from the alcohol bonds to the carbonyl oxygen and the carbonyl group's double bond is changed to a single bond. And that is how you get a hemiacetal when an aldehyde or ketone reacts with an alcohol. When a second alcohol molecule comes into play and reacts with a hemiacetyl, an acetyl and a water molecule are then created. This reaction can be seen below. An acetyl is a molecule that contains two OR groups, where both of these OR groups are bonded to the same carbon. The general form of an acetyl can be seen below. Hi there. Today I will be discussing with you the formation of acetals from hemiacetals. So as you can see here, we are starting off with a general hemiacetal molecule. Hemiacetal molecules contain an OH, an OR, an R, and an H group, all attached to a carbon. Note that this H below here could also be an R group in some instances. You then add an alcohol to your hemiacetal and the formation of an acetal occurs. The general form of an acetal contains an R, an H, and two OR groups. An acetal molecule can be defined as a molecule that contains two OR groups where both of these OR groups are bonded to the same carbon, which can be seen here. Note that the ORs have different apostrophes on it, indicating that they could be different types of groups. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is the general form of an acetal, and the difference between this and a hemiacetal is the hemiacetal has an OH group above the carbon, and an acetal has an OR group above the carbon after the addition of an alcohol. Where can we find this reaction? Acetyl compounds can be found in the making of beer. When there are too many acetyl compounds in beer, it can contribute to an off flavor, causing the beer to taste like green apples or freshly cut pumpkin. Some yeast strains produce more than others, but generally, its presence indicates that the beer is too young and needs more time to condition. So to end off this video, I wanted to discuss um, some of the things that Vanessa and I felt we struggled with and why we chose this particular topic for our project. When watching the videos, it was sometimes hard to understand the transition from hemiacetal to acetal with the addition of alcohol.
alcohols. So we both felt for visual and tactile learners, it might be helpful to have a representation containing different colors for all the pieces of the molecule. So we decided that it would be helpful to make all those different colors and be able to show students how they move around and how they transition with an alcohol. And I felt, we both felt that it really helped us to learn about the transition from one and the other this particular way. So we hoped it helped you as well.